Hi, we're Pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins, Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles, a ministry without walls or boundaries, a threefold ministry, helping people, first of all, receive salvation to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and secondly, helping people find freedom from the slavery of addiction, and thirdly, helping people be healed in their spirit, minds, soul, and body. And this is the new 2021 Freedom from Addiction program. And today, I have a question for you. Are you ready for this? Are you lonely? Are you lonely today? Well, right now, America is absolutely full of people who are lonely. Because of the coronavirus, they've been shut up in their houses. They can't see their brothers or sisters or their parents or their friends. And people are lonely. It reminds me of back in the 50s. Patty Klein had a hit song named, Have You Ever Been Lonely? Have you ever been lonely? Have you ever been blue? Have you ever needed someone to sell your troubles to? Well, today, if you're lonely, and today, if you're blue, there's one answer. And that answer is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So this is your today. This is for you. This is the one major problem we think that's addressing our society today. So we're going to take a look at a few things about that. So Julie, um, is this is the cause of most addiction many times, isn't it? Yes, and it's the uh, cause that's rooted in um, the fact that oftentimes that we're missing, ultimately what we're missing is Jesus. You know, we need him to help us through those times when we're lonely. But we see even people today in marriages that are lonely. Um, yes, that's, I mean, I want to talk about that for a minute. We have many people calling us today, this, this married, they got a happy, happily married, some of them have been married 20, 30 years, whatever the case may be, and they're lonely. And they just, they've been doing their own thing so much that now they, they're, there's no bonding between them. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been doing his thing, she's been doing her mm -hmm. thing, and usually they've been working different places, mm -hmm. so they've never been stuck in the house together. And mm -hmm. so now that they're stuck in the house together, maybe for the first time in 15, 20 years or something, they don't even know each other yeah, because they haven't spent any time with each other. They spend all their time with the people at work or at their work. And uh, th this is just unreal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is a time of loneliness, especially during the um, COVID-19. A lot of people are, are having to isolate to stay well and um, wear masks. And, and that makes people feel uh, more distance from their loved ones and... Uh, sometimes they can't even have visits from their loved ones. But um, God says to, to not worry and to be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And that's in Philippians 4, 6, and 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses mm -hmm. all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So the Lord... It says, though my father and mother forsake me or, or a loved one forsake me, the Lord will take me up in, this, in the Old Testament. And, and God has promised to be what to you, to you, whatever you've lost in life. Well, another thing we're noticing, Julie, is um, we've talked about the husbands and wives. But many, many children out there today are struggling with loneliness because their parents no longer have time for them because they're absolutely consumed with themselves. Yeah. They're consumed with what they're doing or they're consumed with addiction today. Yeah. Addiction is just off the charts right now. Yes. As people have been stuck in their homes, no longer going to work, a lot of them, some kids not going to school anymore in a lot of places, the husbands and wives aren't going to work anymore, they haven't been used to being together. No. He's been doing his things, she's been doing her things, the kids have been doing their things, they've been in school, now they're all back in this house together, and maybe that's the first time in 10, 5, 10, 15 years that that's ever happened. Yeah. And now 
They're strangers almost because they haven't spent time together when they had a chance to, when they were having their jobs and when they were working, they still never had family time. Right. Don't right. you agree? Yes. And, and uh, for m many uh, families, this is a wonderful time to get to know each other again because Jesus is the center of their household. Uh, it's a catch up time. But for some people, the Lord isn't the center of the household and see Jesus says I will never leave you or forsake you but in um, Hebrews 3 5, 13 5 and um, mo most of us um, will need to keep our focus on Jesus who who will never leave us or forsake us and um, it could be that there's an addiction involved in the family like you said and that causes more uh, there, that causes a lot of problems because the enemy is working through that addiction to destroy the family. Yeah, and I want to talk about another thing where we're getting a lot of calls recently. Mm -hmm. We're getting a lot of calls from people who are um, living by themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, like with several women we've had calls of lately. Uh, many of them have been that have COVID now, and they 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 they've been so alone mm -hmm. by themselves. You know. Maybe they worked at a job and maybe they had a, a life going on outside of the home and now they're home all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Maybe their, their jobs are no longer or their businesses aren't any longer open or yeah. whatever the case may be. And now they're home all by themselves. They, their children aren't there. Many of them are no longer married. And they've come down with COVID-19 now. And they are, they're, they're panicking like anybody would because... They have no one to even talk about their problems with or anybody to visit with. And they're there all alone to start with. Yeah. And now they've got COVID and they're scared to death. Right. You know, and so we're getting call after call after call and about that. We want you to reach out to us if you're one of those struggling because with loneliness, because um, we will pray with you and, and be a friend to you and help you through our pastoral uh, phone sessions, counseling through the Word of God, and um, you can do that by calling 217-617-5577, or you can email Pastor Jerry and I at RevJerry at AddictionFreeInChrist.com. We encourage you to contact us because uh, we want to be part of uh, what God uses to help you in your walk with the Lord. Can Plus, you? there might be some overwhelming problems that it really takes a uh, prayer and Amen. help to get through. Uh, Pastor Jerry and I reached out to many people and 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 that helped us through before we met each other and Amen. now we've got each other but we understand completely what it's like to be alone and to feel lonely. Well we got each other but God put us together yes. for you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, he put us together to help each other. Don't get me wrong. That's right. I love each other. And, yeah. and we share the Bible back and forth with each other. Right. I mean, we spent a lot of time talking about a scripture. You know, well, now let's look at this. What do you think about it? And yeah. so praise God, we're blessed with that. I mean, we, we can spend a whole afternoon and, and just talking about And you don't need to Bible. settle for anything less. If you're looking for someone to share your life with, make sure they're grounded in the Word of God. Amen. Because uh, it says in Scripture, do not be unequally yoked. But if you are already in that relationship where you're unequally yoked, it says in the Scripture, you can try to win your, your spouse over through the Word of God, you know, just by being there for them and being a listening ear to their problems. And um, Well, the other thing I want to make sure they know, if you need someone to talk to, mm -hmm. call us. Yeah. That's why God has this ministry. We're if, here for First you. of all, if you're struggling with an addiction, call us. We're going to help you be set free. If you have a physical problem, uh, first of all, I want to tell you one thing. We're not doctors mm -hmm. and we're not counselors. We're spiritual counselors. We're ministers of the gospel. When you call us for help, the only thing you're going to get is the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says about your specific problem, okay? And then we're going to tell you because that's the only thing that's going to heal you. You know, that's the only thing. That's going, we're not saying doctors are good. I go to doctors for, for health problems. We're here to spiritually strengthen you, but also we believe the Word of God. Jesus said, if you ask anything in my Word, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. 
We believe in the healing power of Jesus Christ. So we want you to know that. If you have a physical problem, we also have a prayer line that goes all the way across the United States. So if you have a physical need or a spiritual need that you need help with, or if you have a family member that needs help, you call us. We're going to immediately put it on that prayer line. We do not use your name. All we say is an individual from such and such a state. That's all we say. Right, Julie? Yeah, and you know, Scripture, God promises a promise to you. It says in Psalm 107, 9, He satisfies the longing of the soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. So God's got good, good things for you, and we want to get you connected to your Heavenly Father, to the Lord who loves you, God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth, and we want to get you connected to Him. Okay, now, if you have any questions you want for the next program, let us know right away, because we're already starting to run out of time. So you have some questions we need to answer? Uh, this time you said that uh, uh, you you probably wouldn't have time. we got about four minutes left. But uh, one question was, uh, uh, an individual wondered, how do you win over your coworkers? that aren't in the Lord. Here you are in the Lord and you're working very hard, and but the, the people around you aren't believers. So how do you handle that? Maybe that's something we need to work on next week. It's well, up to I, you. Let me, let me just talk, start for a minute. I know we're sure. running out of time, but real quickly, the first thing, you need to show the love of Jesus Christ to them. Do okay. not judge them. Do not condemn them. I don't care what they're doing. Just love them in. Then prayer. Pray, pray, pray over them. God answers prayer. And so the first thing you need to do is just constantly pray for them. Every time that in, in, at your home, whatever you're doing, you get to thinking about them, start praying for them. And just pray that God will draw them to Him. Yeah. Now, before we go much farther, let's talk about the people we need to thank. Okay. Because we don't want to forget that. Well, we would like to thank Pepco Incorporated, Uniforms, Mats, and Towels of Quincy, Illinois, and Nick Examus of West Town Ford of Jacksonville, Illinois, uh, for our and our Faith Foundation partners and viewers like you for making this program possible. If you have questions or comments or topics that you would like us to cover, don't hesitate to contact us by calling us at 217-617-5577 or email us at revjerry at addictionfreeinchrist.com and, and we will keep your identity confidential. If we mention you on the program, we only mention the state or the country you are from when presenting your questions. And we keep your, you an, anonymous, and we would truly love to hear from you so that we can be a part of your healing process in the Lord Jesus. He does have a healing process that he takes you through. He wants to comfort you and lead you through this time of loneliness or loneliness in the job where you're the only believer left, you know, and, 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 and you're there to win them over. God puts you there as a missionary. That's why you're there. It's not an accident. <laughs> And we want to pray for all the people who are struggling with yes. COVID. In fact, you know, on, we, on our phone calls, I think last night or yesterday afternoon, like, Several. we had like three different ladies that yeah. are struggling with Several COVID. People. Just all yeah. of a sudden, I, and um, from different ages and, and different groups and uh, all wonderful Christian ladies. And we just need to pray for them We're, because we this COVID thing is a long way from being over. And so I don't care what you believe. Yes. A lot of people don't believe this thing is real. But when you have people you're praying for mm -hmm. and uh, some of them don't come back, you know that it is real. It definitely is real. And so uh, no matter what you think, and I guarantee you, uh, you know, there's only one answer, and that's Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And Julie, would you right now lead us in prayer sure. as we leave today? Uh, we, if we, if we, there's yeah. anybody hurting out there, let's pray for them. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we come to you. You said in Matthew 7, 7, Jesus, Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and ye shall find. Yes. Knock, and it shall be opened to Amen. you. God, we pray you, you open the door to healing in the lives of the individuals that are viewing this program right now. We've got people we want to pray for right now that have 
the virus. And God, we thank you. You're the God who heals us. Lord Jesus, we thank you that by your stripes we are healed. We thank you for taking this on the cross 2,000 years ago and that it's only yet to manifest in our lives that healing power through the through the blood of Jesus. And God, we just pray for a healing of this virus in their bodies and heal their minds, souls, and bodies. And Lord, bring them rapidly to a speedy recovery. And we will praise you, Lord. We praise you and thank you for this healing. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. Remember, if you have any questions, send them to us. You can call us at 217-617-5577 or say, you can email us at Rev. Jerry. Addiction Free in yeah, Christ? AddictionFreeInChrist.com Yes. God bless you and thank you for watching. Yes, thank you very much. God bless you. <laughs> Bye now. Bye-bye.